Welcome to Songo Imports, my name is Neil Rolls and this is a video walkthrough of our recently acquired Nissan 200SX S13. Um, it's bought as a project for someone, runs fine, it's got 7 months MOT, taxed at the end of January. Um, it's sold no reserve because as I walk through here it's got a really nice clean 1.8 170 brake turbocharged engine I can assure you it runs sweet as a nut there's uh, about 80 or thousand miles on it 126 kilometers okay and this is why I got it basically for the block um, the paintwork is really quite poor it's no dents um, I don't think there's any dents at all, definitely not any major ones anywhere on the car, however there's a lot of lacquer peel, a lot of fade, um, some major scratches here and there, I'll walk around to the tailgate in a minute which is uh, will require either a sand down and refill um, or possibly uh, a replacement, initially I was going to keep this car myself, sand it down right down to the metal, coat it in a rust protector and spray it in matte black and then track it. Loads of potential there, plenty of horsepower to gain out of that engine, you know nice breathing system put on it, put a, put a front mount or whatever, um, nice stainless steel exhaust system, you know a few bits and pieces, you know try to spend a bit of money on the engine, get it uh, running sweet as a nut. There's a nice drift car there for you. Obviously they get a lot of street credit these are. Um, but ideally even so, this is an ideal sleeper um, for anyone that wants a sort of wolf in sheep's clothing. Which is again has a massive appeal to a lot of people. All the tyres, perfect condition, all with even wear. Uh, there's no, no uneven wear anywhere. Uh, so yeah, I've sort of started from the front because I've just taken some pictures of the engine bay as you can see. It's actually in the January. I'm going to walk you around the rest of the car. There's lack of pill everywhere. It's a lot of people that have put, put off, of course, but people that really appreciate what kind of car this is, um, it won't bother at all. Um, rust wise, there really in, there's hardly any rust at all. Um, these are quite prone for going on the arches. Um, and again, along the back windows, which is perfect there perfect all over the well the, the roofs almost in perfect condition probably doing a tea cut and a polish if you want to keep it red um, I know on this side they go on the windows as well but that's perfect and um, so obviously I'm not going to list all the scratches otherwise this video is going to be about 400 days long um, arch wise there's only a stone chip there and there's no rust on that at all it's like superb condition the arch is to be honest again tires rear tires all good tread alloy wheels apart from being dirty um, really aren't in bad condition at all uh, this car is dirty and been cleaned and been valeted um, like I said the main deal is that okay uh, how many people have gone Ugh! right now uh, I did when I first seen it when I thought it's an easy replacement and it's an easy fix for anyone with a body shop or anyone that cares Okay, I basically had a spoiler on it. Someone's just come along and ripped it straight off without a care in the world. Obviously, the owner's done a bit of a DIY job on the filler and it's rubbish. So, there you go. All the lights, no cracks. I don't think, in, no, no cracks in any lights on the rears. Um, again, exhaust is all good. Apart from a few little scratches, the rear bumper hasn't got any cracks on it at all either again most of this is just uh, dirt a lot of this could be tea cut out if you replace the tailgate you know you could probably um, tea cut it just to make it better for yourself really but ideally it wants a, a repaint if you're looking for a show car however you, if you're gonna track it who cares it's got a fun factor okay again with this arch uh, what's that there yeah, again, there's just zoom right in there. 
that's nothing at all. It hasn't et through, it's just a very, very tiny bit of surface rust, nothing at all to worry about. Again, that rear tyre, it's all good. Okay, there's a little bit of bubble in here. Sorry, there. Just on that window, only up until that point. That can be sanded down easy. Um, it's really not major at all. Again, this door, key scratched. Um, but no dents. Okay. I'm just walk around here. Okie dokie, again that front, all the tyres are in superb condition. They're all like, I'd say they were fairly recent tyres. I'm gonna walk, let you have a look inside, okay? All this needs is a front seat, if it bothers anyone. So there's a tear in it there. Apart from that, the rest of the interior uh, it needs a new stereo or a stereo. Um, it's you know relatively dirty inside at the minute. Um, I'll, I'll clean that up when I get five minutes. But apart from that, interior-wise, like I said, apart from that that rip there, the rest of the seats are in like perfect condition with no rips or anything. Okay. And then we're gonna just get in and let you see the inside of her. This is a freezing cold start. Okay, all the lights come on. None of the bulbs have been taken out, which I know is quite common for cars of these ages. Um, and yeah, cold start. Bit of a whiny fan belt, but obviously. Yeah, it's gone now. No problem at all there, all the heaters work fine. There's 129 thousand kilometers, which in equivalent I think is about 80, 85 thousand miles. Okay, so as you can see there, freezing cold. Zoom into the temperature gauge there. There you go. See the handbrake and door open light is the only lights on. No diff oil needed or anything like that. Battery's all in tip top condition. Revs nicely, idles nicely. There's still a quarter of a tank of fuel. Just going to walk you out to the engine quickly. Just so you can see how nice she runs. Fans kicking in like they should. All the belts are nice, nice and tight. As you can see, she runs really, really sweet. I mean, it is what it is, really. Um, all the levels are okay. I'd recommend an oil change, obviously. Um, and that's about it. Still drivable. You know, fully legal tyres, like I said. Loads of MOT. Bit of tax, but, you know, can be retaxed quite easily. Songkaiimports.co.uk. Grab this with no reserve on an auction at the minute. And, uh, yeah, make it yours, mate. It's ultimate sleeper yours. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.